Hi guys, it's Ellie here. Um, I'm sitting outside my um, resort room in Fiji and I wanted to talk to you about today, I thought it was the perfect setting to do so, about how you can have it all. And to give you a bit of a background on my story, um, and, and some of you already know anyway, a lot of people would, um, just wait for the tractor to pass. Uh, so, about six years ago, uh, I was in a really crappy position. I was living off Centrelink, I had no money, I couldn't work, I just had my daughter, um, and, uh, well, five years ago, sorry, she's only five. Um, <laughs> and uh, my partner couldn't work because he was on a tourist visa, he wasn't allowed to work even though he wanted to. And we were living in a tiny little unit in Bowen Hills um, near Brisbane City. We lived near the city because we couldn't afford a car. So we had to walk and cycle everywhere to get to the places we needed to go. And I won't go too much into this. I have gone into this in other videos. But basically, we, we couldn't afford anything. We couldn't afford a car. We could hardly afford public transport. Um, sometimes we got it if we um, had to. Um, but mainly we walked and cycled to get where we needed to go. We had no money. We were living off $500 a week from Centrelink. 300 of that went to rent. $50 a week went on food. We couldn't even afford meat. Most of the food we ate was uh, like basic um, kind of curries, chickpeas, um, frozen veggies, fruit, porridge, crackers, that kind of stuff. And it, it was shitty. Like some days I wanted to curl up in a ball and say I give up and just cry but I, I might have done that once but I didn't say I was going to give up but I might have curled up in a ball once but I didn't give up instead and you know a lot of people do instead I went against what most people do and I said life has to be get better than this and I will never allow myself to be in this situation ever again in my life I will do whatever it takes to take my life and my family's life forwards so that my daughter never has to go without, so that we can travel, so that we can do the things we want in life, so that we're not held back, so we have freedom to do whatever we want. When we had no money, we didn't have freedom. We were stuck in our little bubble. We couldn't even go anywhere outside of a, a small radius, um, let alone travel overseas. Um we, we didn't have the freedom to be able to buy things that our daughter needed from the shops. We had to get everything for free um, from Free Cycle and Gumtree. We didn't have the freedom to be able to do what we want when we wanted. We didn't have the freedom to do a lot of things. So we were held back, but it was uh, an amazing time in my life as well, and it made me a lot stronger. Um, it made all of us a lot stronger. So I decided then and there that I would... I would push myself forwards. I would do whatever it took to create a better life for myself and my family. And I did. I, even though I had no money, I, um, I, uh, signed up to do a personal training course, um, to, to become a personal trainer. I paid off little bit by little bit each week. I cycled to get to the, the, um, classes and I expressed milk to, so my partner could feed my daughter whilst I was at the, the classes. Um, when I started my business, I started my business the first week out of um, out of PT college, and I used to run with the pram with the weights and skipping ropes and things like that in the bottom of the pram to get to my classes, um, and and ran them. And I built that business up, and I had no clue what I was doing at first, but I dove straight in and I did it because I knew that I didn't want to do that course just to be living by someone else's rules and to be working in a gym. Uh, I wanted to make my own rules. I wanted to create that lifestyle and that life for my family and to be able to reach out and help the people that I wanted to help as well, to not have anyone else tell me what to do. So now, five years on, and, and there's been ups and downs along the way, but now, five years on, I'm in beautiful Fiji. Um, we travel a lot. I, I have the freedom to be able to travel. Let's wait till that tractor goes past have the freedom to be able to travel and still make money and still help people, still be running courses, still do coaching sessions with clients 
whilst I'm on a tiny little island with shitty internet, um, but I can still run my business and I can still make money. And I have stuff automated now as well so that I'm making money even when I'm not sitting there and act actively having to make the sales uh, myself. So it's it's really awesome and it's taken time and there's been ups and downs, but it's been an amazing journey and it will continue to be an amazing journey. And um, not just not just the travel, but we have um, we have freedom to be able to do to do what we want. I I do a heap of courses. I'm always learning. I'm always expanding my knowledge. I have amazing clients. I only help pe the people that I want to help. And um, you you really can go from having nothing to be able to create um, a life that you love. And it's a never-ending journey. It all it will always continue, and you'll always be adding more and and doing more. And I just wanted to say that you really can have it all. And whatever your wildest dreams are, think big. Don't hold yourself back, and and really think big. And um, because you're only held back by your belief system and by the limits that you put on yourself. So dream big, and you can achieve whatever you want to achieve. Um, so you can have it all in, in any area of your life. And I'll, I think I'll stop this video now, but I'll do another video for you. So this one's not too long. I'll do another video in a sec uh, about how you can have it all in all areas of your life. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that. Share it around if you did. And um, I'll talk to you soon.